This is a model of one of the giant wooden ore boats that sailed the Great Lakes. Her name was the Sacramento. If you look very closely, you may notice that these two lifeboats are carved from the wood of that exact vessel. And so is this pen and this business card holder. How did I legally get that wood? Well, there is a shipwreck on the Great Lakes that you can stand on, you can walk on, you can even play baseball on. But first, you got to know where it is. The Sacramento was launched on Wednesday, July 24, 1895, at the West Bay City, Michigan yard of Captain James Davidson. She measured 320 feet in overall length, 42 feet in beam, and 21 feet in depth. Her oak hull was reinforced by a lattice of steel straps, iron bolts, and steel arches. On her maiden trip, the newspapers reported that she was sailing up to Duluth. Arriving there, the ship reporters were apparently not expecting this new Davidson vessel, because they wrongly reported her as her younger sister vessel, the Thomas Cranage. The Sacramento did a quick turn at Duluth and departed for two harbors without cargo. Arriving there, she was again wrongly reported as being the Cranage, but correctly reported as the Sacramento when she departed. Although the ship reporters said she was headed for Cleveland with her maiden cargo of iron ore, she arrived in Erie, Pennsylvania four days later with that cargo. Under the command of Captain C.S. Fury, she later arrived at his hometown of Buffalo with 86,000 bushels of wheat. That was a good-sized cargo in 1895. For the next 33 seasons, the Sacramento hauled grain, ore, coal, and she often towed one of Davidson's oak-hulled schooner barges. Then came the dark year of 1929. It started off sadly for the Lakes community with the death of Captain Davidson on February 5th. He died at home after a long struggle with pneumonia. Soon his vessel fleet died along with him and many of his vessels were idled at his Bay City shipyard as the American economy sank into the Great Depression. The Depression spelled the end of wooden freighters on the Great Lakes, and nowhere was that more apparent than at the Davidson Yard. The Sacramento found herself laid up and left to rot in a slip at the yard. Soon she began to decay until she was nothing more than a wreck. In the mid-1950s, an arsonist set fire to the old boat, and she burned to the waterline. All that remained was her lower hull and her iron-sheathed fire hold, as well as her triple expansion steam engine. For two decades, she sat in the abandoned shipyard where she had been constructed. In the mid-1970s, the city decided that both the wreck and the abandoned shipyard were eyesores. Their solution was a bulldozer, and the once-proud steamer was leveled and buried where she sat. It was said that when the dozer plowed over her steam engine, the sound of the legs snapping was sickening. Additionally, the Schooner Grampian was removed with a backhoe, and the wreck closest to shore, the Montezuma, was buried as well. The beautification created a wonderful park and recreation area. At this moment, the wreck of the Sacramento rests here, quite forgotten. Before the Sacramento was bulldozed, a local historian managed to grab a few of her three-foot-tall mid-deck knees. He gave me one, and from it I had exactly seven pens made. The wood was so fragile that it would not stand up to the milling, and only seven pens could be made from that wreck in the park. 